So that was the tank my great grandpa had fought in and used. And thank God they made the memorial for the tank and uh, everything else. Uh, here, let me show you. And back here is where we would have the engine. It's also where I had climbed up. I set my phone somewhere over there. Looks like they're missing the bone. Oh, maybe we can. Uh, this looks like where the exhaust would come out. Uh, you can see bits and pieces of the engine. For most of y'all that don't know, against the Panzer during World War II, the Sherman was considered the the weakest tank. Uh, it could be destroyed with one hit on the side. The front, it can sometimes take a direct hit. Uh, and of course, you got the track. And there are two types of tracks. There's the metal, which I think this one is, and then the rubber. Underneath there, somewhere, is a trap right there. I don't know if y'all can see it, but it's a trap door. Starting off with, uh, I don't know what this little hatch is for. Maybe they put it on. But I can't see anything. Uh, let's go see what inside the gun turret would look like. Oh. Uh, dark, I can't see anything. Maybe if I brought a flash shot, it would shine up a little bit. Inside there, uh, I see something. I see multiple things, actually. Uh, can't make them out. Yeah. It's almost like a person staring back at us. Oh, sorry. Uh, yeah, a cobweb. Yeah. Is that a... Oh, don't see anything. Oh, wait, hold on, I do see something now. Let my camera focus. I wonder what that is. Maybe it's for someone to turn that. Uh, as y'all can see, we are on the front side of the tank. Sorry, British accent sometimes, but I... What's this down here? Oh, that is a lot of dirt. I will not believe how much dirt is just caked right here. It's almost like I can put a finger down in there. Yeah, I hope to God that's dirt. But as y'all can see, they kind of welded it shut. Uh, this is where the side gunner would be. And on the other side, right there, is where the driver would be. Uh, I'm going to see if I can at least get a few shots of what the inside looks. So hopefully, you know, I don't get the cops called on me because we are not allowed to climb this, but uh, I've always been climbing it. I have some photo shoots, so if you want to go check those out, then I'll have my grandma send them to me, and I'll put them on my uh, new um, Instagram because my other one got blocked or banned for some reason. So let's see what we can see. That is a World War II Sherman tank, as it says on the plaque. And what's special about it is the fact that my great grandpa is the one that drove it here. It used to be originally parked over there before they built the memorial for the uh, veterans. Only bad thing is it's sealed up and we're not allowed to climb it no more, but I don't really like to, you know, follow rules and all that, so. Let's try giving it a jump, huh? For most of y'all that don't know, or would like to know, the World War II Sherman is my favorite tank, even though we got, you know, the modern Abrams. Uh, what I can see is a chair and the levers that drive it, but I don't know if the camera's picking any of it up. Maybe it is, maybe it ain't. This thing is just full of history. Here's everything else. I actually met the daughter of that man right there um, one day because she was having a little thing and trying to raise funds to go find her husband, well not husband, sorry, father that went MIA during Vietnam. And you got the classic uh, jet, I guess what they would use back then, I don't really know too much about them. And what is interesting about each one of those plaques is there's names on everyone that was born and lived here in Huntington throughout each war, starting from the Civil War 
all the way down to I'm pretty sure the modern day wars so uh, make sure to uh, subscribe and leave a like I am um, right now currently not like at the moment but soon I'm trying to get a hold of this city so I can get inside the tank and actually clean it and if that is possible by any god-given chance then I'll make sure to record some of it because it would be like the greatest honor in my life to be able to uh, to clean it and get to see what's inside of it of course and it shouldn't be dirty in the first place if the city was really taking care of it as they said they are they're not even maintaining the outside it's already got rust spots and I'll try to save up money to to buy the tank and restore it and if y'all would love to see that then definitely let me know uh, because I would personally love to have a tank I mean who wouldn't but it would be more honorable for me and I mean more to me it fills my great grandfather's tank so make sure to leave a like and subscribe